as I understand it, um, um, this only would pertain to a case where somebody's uh, childcare bills exceed uh, what they're making um, out of work. I don't know how many cases of that there are, but um, I think if somebody is in that position whereby um, they're actually losing money, they're, it's costing them money to work, and as a result they can't pay their mortgage, well then that is something that needs to be taken into account in, in any kind of insolvency regime. To the, the example there of childcare exceeding wage, I, I know it seems improbable, but it's very, very common like for a lot of women that they're actually not earning enough to pay their childcare bills, but they stay in their jobs to keep their careers yes, yeah. going. So yeah. is that not an argument? Like how can they be asked to give up their jobs? In that yeah, regard? well, like, like nobody's asking anyone to give up their jobs. Um, you know what's going to happen is people are going to come forward uh, they're going to say I can't pay my debts you know I can't pay my mortgage I can't pay my bills and then the insolvency practitioner will go through with them uh, as to why uh, they can't pay their bills and obviously a creditor isn't going to agree to a write down uh, unless that's been gone through um, and they can work out what is the most they can pay and it's going to be done on an individual basis. Uh, I know one or two women who do exactly what you suggested or exactly what you say who um, probably don't make very much money at, it, at all from working but they do to keep their position uh, on the career ladder if you like and that's a legitimate thing to do but if you can't pay your mortgage as a result or you can't pay your groceries as a result well, then that's something that needs to be taken into account in any insolvency arrangement.